The Roads to Carbon Neutral, presented by Total Energies. Hello, I'm Emma Crosby and welcome to The Roads to Carbon Neutral. In this edition, we're going to look at the burgeoning sector of energy storage and its growing role in helping to decarbonize the planet. In this modern energy transition, what's different is that renewable sources such as solar, wind and fuels like biogas and green hydrogen are converging all at once. The hybrid systems to integrate them will be key and energy storage to fully ensure supply will be critical. Simply put, Storage allows energy produced by hydrocarbons or renewables to be saved for times when needed. As the renewable energy era takes shape, storage allows for further uptake. The high volume of renewable energy coming into the grid makes it more and more difficult for the network operators in order to balance the grid real time. So it's no question now to wonder if there is a need for storage of electricity. It's at which pace we will need it and which technologies will emerge. For the grid scale energy storage, it's not certain yet which technology will be the winner. Lithium ion batteries, certainly they are a strong contenders. But I also see something else coming. For example, a nickel hydrogen gas batteries. This has extremely long lifetime, very low cost. We'll be seeing a new technology like this coming up in the next couple of years. With lifespans reaching up to 30 years depending on the electrolyte chemistry, redox flow batteries may provide unrivaled cost certainty versus other emerging storage technologies on the market. Flow batteries are currently double the cost of similar sized lithium ion configurations. 2021 is a really exciting year for energy storage because installations are actually going to double this year compared to 2020. And so for the first time, the annual installations will be over 10 gigawatts. There are still significant barriers to be addressed. Most importantly, battery costs need to be reduced and their efficiency and lifespan improved. One other factor that we need to be very careful with is the supply chain and recycling of materials. When we see the demand for lithium, for nickel, for cobalt, with all the cars moving to batteries, uh, we'll need to increase the supply of those metals and we'll need to do it in an environmentally friendly way. As we've already heard, the energy storage sector is in an era of innovation and progression. To tell me how Total Energies is becoming an industry leader, I'm joined by the company's Vice President of Energy Storage Solutions, Jean-Henri Culariere. Hi Jean-Henri, why is Total Energies investing in energy storage solutions? We aim to become a leader in the renewable power by developing 35 gigawatt uh, by 2025 and 100 gigawatt by 2030. The storage solution will be clearly part of that uh, development. We are targeting to develop up to 3 gigawatts of storage solution by 2030. And by developing such solution, I believe that we will become a dispatchable renewable provider. In France, we have a battery directly connected using the con existing connection of an industrial site. We are offering flexibility directly to the grid. Dunkerque 1 was definitely a first of a kind and definitely the design we developed for that project will be replicated on the other site in France. In 2020, Total Energies launched its battery-based energy storage projects in Mardik at the Flanders Centre in Dunkirk. Dunkirk's lithium-ion energy storage system will be used to provide fast reserve services to support the stability of the French power grid. Total Energies subsidiary SAFT has been integral to the project's success. The ESS in Dunkirk is a lithium-ion battery energy storage system which has the capability of storing 25 megawatt hours of electric energy. It is the largest uh, battery energy storage system ever commissioned in France, but moreover, it's just a blueprint. It's the first of a series of battery ESS 
that are currently built by Total Energy in different places in France. There is virtually no limit to the scale of the overall energy storage system. Batteries such as those produced at the Zhuhai site are used at the Dunkirk project. We visited their site to find out more. In Zhuhai, we manufacture our ESS energy storage solution product named Intensium High Energy Max 20. It is a one-step turnkey battery system to store energy and control the flow of electricity in grid systems. As the name suggests, it is a high-energy lithium-ion container which stores up to 2.5 megawatt hour. We aim at reaching one gigawatt hour of annual capacity by the end of this year, 2021. As the world is now moving into a low-carbon future, our ESS products become more important as they serve as the backbone to the renewable energy integration. When it comes to energy storage, SAFT will be instrumental in shaping the future. SAFT is looking at developing the next generation of technology called solid state. Solid state is a technology increasing the overall energy density of the system, increasing the safety and ultimately lowering cost. We have the full support of Total Energies and we have structured a very strong and competent program for developing solid state technology at SAFT. We expect that solid state will power electric vehicles and will be also the technology of choice for the grid. As the technologies and methods of recycling improve, the market for battery recycling will grow also. Canadian company Lifecycle believes it has developed a method to make recycling commercial. So Lifecycle is a commercial lithium-ion battery recycler. We take all types of lithium-ion batteries and importantly in a both economically sustainable fashion and environmentally sustainable fashion. It's a two-stage process. We take in lithium-ion batteries of all types, whether it be production rejects and scrap all the way to full electric vehicle batteries. We break it down to intermediate materials. And the second step of what we do is the hub, where we take that intermediate product to go back into new lithium-ion batteries again. Lifecycle takes all types of lithium-ion batteries and recovers 95% of those materials. That's a massive shift away from historically having 50% and below mass recoveries. And hence, this is revolutionary for the lithium-ion battery supply chain. There is so much yet to come for energy storage. Which long-duration energy solutions flourish will be determined in the coming decades. If you'd like to find out more, please visit rose2carbonneutral.com. Thank you for watching and goodbye. The Roads to Carbon Neutral presented by Total Energies.